Okay. Hey, everyone. Welcome back to the Yellow Brick Road because we're on our way to Oz, right? <laughs> so in the first episode, we talked about obstacles to avoid. This are the shiny objects along the, the Yellow Brick Road that will cause us to derail, go onto a dirt road, get our tires all punctured, and then we're stranded, right? <laughs> and then we went to the Lion's and the tigers, oh my. And this was programmatic planning issues that really cause us not to sell our programs or have good results from our programs, right? And now we're talking about we're melting. We're melting, <laughs> right? Uh, and this is, <laughs> this is effects of poor programmatic planning on your infrastructure. So that's what we're going to be talking about today, how not having a good program directly affects how everything in your organization, in your business can possibly not run right. And then you are back working your nine to five job. Mm -hmm. Basically what we want right here. Like right. So <laughs> <laughs> especially not in today's um what's going on today, right? Mm -hmm. um, gas prices are just too high <coughs> to be taking a trip to and from an office. Girl, to, uh, to somebody's work. I'm <laughs> telling you right now. That, look, did you see my screenshot? $100 spill up. Girl, let me- I my know. <laughs> I just put $87 in my car the other day and I was like, oh my God, thank God I did not buy an SUV yet. <laughs> you know? I'm driving an SUV. $100 to fill up. Yeah. All SUV though. I'm like, oh. Yeah, no. Uh, that's too much. Even when I went to the gas station and I saw $87 from my car, I was like, what? Uh-uh. This is this is groceries. Mm -hmm. This is my electric bill. Like, what? <laughs> but that's what it is. So I couldn't imagine for those people who have to drive back and forth to work every day, it has to be painful. Painful. But yeah, so if this is your first time catching us, my name is Tracy V. Allen. I'm the owner of TVA Consulting Group, where I help change agents to design, build, and fund their social ventures so that they can live the lifestyles they desire while impacting their community. I am Ty Boone. I'm owner of Ty Boone Enterprises. I work mostly with nonprofit organizations, helping them to move from startup and struggle to sustainability and success. And Tracy, you are right. I mean, when programs are shoddy, everything's shoddy. Like nothing is going to hold and you, and you mentioned infrastructure and that's kind of a piece of it right it's like you're building a house mm -hmm. and the program is like the thing the foundation of this thing that's going to help you to operate and help you to sustain and help you to generate revenue and all this and if it's not in place then there's, it doesn't work or it's not sustainable you know mm -hmm. we'll see especially in nonprofit organizations where people are still confusing programs with activities with it with events not really getting the clear understanding, like we said in the last session, that programs solve problems. So they're just doing stuff. Mm -hmm. You know, we're gonna have a book fair, we're gonna I mean a backpack rally, or we're gonna do whatever. And we're not really solving any problems. So we're doing things sporadically and inconsistently and things that don't sustain. So it looks like that. It's just a reflection in the, the way that we operate in the business. If we're just randomly having, you know, backpack rallies and we're randomly having vacation Bible school or whatever in July, you know, I was talking to someone yesterday about programs and they were just, you know, kind of depressed and frustrated. And I've been doing this organization since 2014 and we've only gotten, you know, between two and $4,000 worth of, of support. And I'm mm -hmm. like, okay, what well, the problem is, you know, you're, you don't have programs. And they're like, well, well, every every year we do we do this summer camp in July and August, and I'm like, and what do you do after that? Like, what is like what or before that? What is happening? So people in your community are seeing you as a summer camp. Mm -hmm. So if I'm seeing you as a summer camp, and that's all I'm seeing you as, you're not doing anything else for your population. You're not visible in the community. We don't need to support you until the summertime. Right. right. If we support you then, because there's mm -hmm. 10,000 other summer camps in the state and we can support one. Right. Mm -hmm. so what are you doing to solve the problem? Because these kids who are coming to your summer camp, they're just not in need in the summertime. If you're trying to have a program. Now, if you're just mm -hmm. trying to have an activity, then cool. Do, do, you, do what you do. But you're crying because you don't have, you're trying to hire people and pay salaries. What you paying them for? 
for summer school? Like, wh how, what's going to happen after that? Right? <laughs> um, what happens after summer school? So if you're trying to do something that's long term, you're going to have to build programs that solve problems. And you're going to have to plan in order to do that. You just don't jump in and say, oh, we just got a program. Right. And if you're only running that program, um, if you're only running that program in the summertime, then yes, you look like a summer program. And if you can't, if you're doing that, then you're not, you're not going to be able to sustain your business throughout the rest of the year because you only have money coming in at one point in time. So that's a programmatic problem that creates a serious infrastructure problem. And an infrastructure problem is a lack of money to maintain staff. And most people cannot work on a seasonal basis because what you're going to be paying them in the summertime is still not enough money to sustain them throughout the year. So it's not like they're coming in the summer, they're making a ton load of money, and then they're good for the rest of the year and they can just keep coming back every <laughs> summer. It's not going to work like that. So you need to have a program that is sustainable, that can sustain you throughout the entire year so that your organization is not always on the brink of shutting down. You're not always wondering how you're going to keep the lights on. So that is what programmatic problems um, contain. For for-profit businesses, a lot of times people want to do digital, digital products, right? And so they want to create programs around their area of expertise, but a lot of them feel that they cannot create the document, whatever the program is on their own. So they're paying other people to create these programs for them, and then they're uploading them. Now, after you've already paid somebody, because nobody's going to create a whole curriculum for you um, for under 10, less than $10,000 in most cases, right? And they've created this for you, but you don't have a good marketing strategy. You haven't been hyping up the market to get this thing to market so that when you do put it to market, it's a flop. And you hinged your entire business on this program being successful, right? And then now you don't have any money. So those, what's going to happen? You're going to be back doing your nine to five job if you didn't have other income streams coming in that will allow you to maintain the status of your um, program. Memberships are the same, the same way. Now, nobody's saying that things are going to be perfect because <laughs> things are never perfect. They just aren't, right? <laughs> um, so even like with memberships, it's the same thing. We create these membership programs and then we, we, in our heads, we already have this vision. This is what we want. This is what we, and we're not willing to bend and twist with what people are telling us that they need and want. Now, you're not going to listen to everybody, but if you have a majority of the people telling you something, then you know you need to reshuffle your program. So your program, that membership program, because it is a program, needs to be flexible enough to meet the needs of the people who you're uh, marketing to, as well as maintaining um, the structure that you can manage mm -hmm. as well. And I think we talked about like, process evaluation before, right? Mm -hmm. Stopping somewhere, even in the membership program, even if you got a store on Shopify, right? <laughs> whatever whatever it is that you're doing, yeah. stopping to really assess whether or not this is what I'm supposed to be doing, whether or not this is what my audience mm -hmm. wants, you know, because sometimes we get, especially consultants, I know I do, Tracy, I'd be like, they need this because they <laughs> this is what they need. And it yeah. may not, if I'm talking from a money standpoint it may not be what they want right it, it may not be what they want and, and if it's not what they want they're not gonna buy it mm -hmm. <laughs> I can, say, exactly. they need it. I can exactly. say they need it you know um and you talked about um it, when you're talking about programs and and starting from the the back like starting from the end and, and working your way to the front even mm -hmm. when i'm naming programs i think about it that way like what should i name what should the name of this be whatever the whatever that mm -hmm. is outcome or the impact that I want to make, this is what I'm going to name the program because mm -hmm. when you're doing things like marketing, that's what's going to attract your audience. I get them, right? Mm -hmm. And you're telling them, this is, this is the problem that I solve because the, mm -hmm. you solve the problem last, but you start with it first. Right. You know, done. Yeah. And then that's, that's just kind of what it is. Anytime you have the gaps in the programs, because like Ty likes to say, the profit is in the programs. So if your programs are not profitable, you have an infrastructure problem. Because the entire infrastructure is going to fall apart. It doesn't matter what the shell looks like. Because sometimes we can put a brave front. And on the inside, we just die. We're falling apart. It's the same thing with your business. Inside, everything is falling apart. You're laying off people. You know, you're cutting hours. You're doing all these different things because 
your programs are not producing the revenue needed to hold the infrastructure together. So that's we're melting. We're <laughs> melting. <laughs> right? That's what happens. Whether people can see you melting on the outside or not, you melting internally because there is no funds to maintain. <clears throat> Sorry, there are no funds to maintain the infrastructure. Mm -hmm. All right. So that's it. Any last words, sorry? That's it, y'all. Get these programs. Get All right. The program. okay. <laughs> <laughs> so stay tuned for we're not in Kansas anymore. And uh -oh. that will be the last of the series down the yellow brick road. <laughs> All right. Bye, everyone.